Oh, the holiday season is here. That means the semester break is closing in. Big weekend of hockey between two of the top programs in hockey. It's live from Saga Center in Lowell, Massachusetts. It's the UMass Lowell Riverhawks playing host to the Boston University Terriers. Hello and welcome, everyone. Tom Karen along with Billy Jaffe with the break. With all this time off, these teams are trying to put a good feeling on the end of the season. These coaches want these points as BU and UMass Lowell get ready to go. They need the points, just like I needed to see you, TC. Uh, we haven't done a game yet hey, together. Welcome this back. Year. Good to be back, partner. <laughs> yeah, great to be here. These teams, both Lowell and BU, they need some good vibe. They need some good energy. Yeah, you know, BU, they split with BC last week, and so they felt pretty good about the game, but Lowell hasn't played in nine days since they lost to Bentley in a bit of an upset. The game was here at Songa Center. Both these teams though, came in with high expectations. We'll touch on that in a moment, yet they haven't found their games, their identity yet. Both coaches feel they're capable of becoming very good teams, but they got to feel good about themselves heading into the break. There's no doubt about it. Well, these programs always have high expectations, Absolutely. right? But this year they were especially high. In fact, coming into the season, these were the top two teams in Hockey East, at least according to the preseason coach, Pope BU number one. UMass Lowell number two, but it hasn't played out that way so far, Bill. No, it sure hasn't. Both these teams have had inconsistencies uh, in net. They've, they've dealt a lot with freshmen, and that leaves inconsistencies. And certain players, they need to elevate their status from different roles to a higher level role this year. Perhaps haven't always been able to fulfill that. But again, they both feel that legit Hockey East runs, good second half surges, are very capable for each squad. All right, UMass Lowell had a four-game winning streak before that loss to Bentley, so they feel, and they've had those nine days off, the coaches feel that they have been going in the right direction, had some good practices, they feel the energy is there and they're ready to break out. Well, yeah, and they haven't had a lot of games lately, so they're saying that they're finding some energy, they're, you know, they're, they're hoping that this game here really serves as a catapult before the players have exams next week, then they get to go home for a little bit. Again, but this, this, this is all about, all about this weekend right now for both these squads before break. Well, UMass Lowell uh, rolling in here believes the offense has been good, but it can even crank up a little more here going forward. Yeah, and they're relying on guys like Ryan Lohan and Kenny Housinger who are, well, they were different role players last year, and they're both sophomores. These are guys that they're looking to, that looked to last year for energy, for penalty kill, for t shutdown type players. This year they're expecting more offense from them. And they can give more. Lowen leads them with five goals and 14 points. Housinger's got five goals and 12 points total. At times, Norm Bazin admitted to us earlier today that perhaps played them a little bit too much time on ice in the sense that they kind of get outside of a comfort zone. He wants to build them back up into that 24, 25 minute a night capability. He says, but for now, got to let them be sophomores. Got to let them find themselves, get their games going consistently. Well, Boston University has a young team again. Nearly 70% of their goals have come from freshmen and sophomores. And this guy, number 21, leading the way in Patrick Harper. Six goals and 19 points. You want to talk about elusive speed, great open ice player. Sounds a lot like Clayton Keller, remember, who was there last year now in the NHL at the Arizona Coyotes. Harper's got that same kind of headiness to his game. Had a big weekend last weekend, four assists in a game against Boston College. And so he's in a vital, vital offensive cog for this club. So is this guy right here, the center, Bobo Carpenter. He's a junior. He's got a little more experience. The North Reading Mass native, not too far from here at Songa Center, has really progressed beautifully. 16 points on the season. Slotted tonight as the third line center. He's the type of guy that really relied upon to, for leadership, for stability. He's playing with two freshmen tonight in Hank Crone and David Ferentz. Uh, they've got uh, plenty of talent on both sides of this ice, no question about it. But because of those inconsistent starts on each side, they are unranked. First time in 10 years that these two teams play one another without at least one of the two teams being nationally ranked. We're getting ready for face-off here at Songa Center. Stay with us as UMass Lowell gets ready to host Boston University.